Pam, param, pam, pam, param, pam, pam. I'm sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Kiralis and welcome to Hermitcraft Season 7, Episode 36. So just sit back like this, like that, relax and enjoy. And if you guys do enjoy this, make sure you give this video a like. And if you do so, thank you very, very, <laughs> very much. Oh, people hate that intro, don't you? And you know what? I miss the stash. I miss going. Bonjour. Je m'appelle Kiralis. Voulez-vous? Avec. No, 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 no. Let's not go there. Maybe we can ask Mambo if we could borrow that stash for a, for a few episodes. I loved it. And I miss it dearly. But anywho, anyhow, the ladies and gentlemen, previous episode, we've made this. And I am so, I am so happy how this turned out. I, I love it to bits. And in between episodes, I've done some stuff over here. So what we have, can we see? No, we can't see. Just like minecarts going underneath this little sweatshop over here. Or those sweatshops over here. And then they go up over here. Go all the way on this little ledge over here. Like, like this. Like this. And poof. They go on. And they're back. So what they do, they, they drop off stuff behind this wall. And then it goes all the way through this well hidden hopper hopper pipe. And into those things over here. Only issue is that it has accumulated. Very, very fast. So... This sorting system over here is, uh, it's not gonna cut it for us, really, but for the moment, this will have to do. Let's see here, let's get dressed for success, like a so, and is it night? Seen any creepers? No? There? You sneaky liar, you. But you know what? Let's head into the shopping district. This face, this face over here has an idea. And some ideas would probably be better off just inside your face, but what do they say? Don't let dreams just be dreams. This will be a bad dream, a terrible dream, a nightmare, a terrible idea. But it will be an idea nevertheless. So ladies and gentlemen, we have this place. This is fully paid for. It is all mine. And this was supposed to be the Kerala's building materials. However, look into my eyes. One day after completion, somebody, and I'm not going to be name dropping, okay? Shash, me void decided to build this over here the beautiful rock shop and i mean bless his little heart because this place is absolutely phenomenal but it did kind of render our place kind of useless over here but uh, yeah so i have been sinking a little bit ladies and gentlemen it is it is time Okay, you know what? Let's just sleep first. It's time for looky looky at my cookie. But Kiralis, that is a cake. Yeah. Yeah. Look. Wop, wop, wop. This could become a building. This. Maybe. But not so much. And we do have the bookshelves. I do want to continue the theme about building those kind. I, like, us. Uh, you know what? First is first. We need to clear this off. Uh, so let's do that to start with. Where, where, where cake go? Cake is gone. But you know what? What what you might be? What we need is shulker boxes. And I have hundreds of them back home. But I am not home now. And these are just two diamonds each. I got ten. Let's get ourselves one, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. There we go. And they're going to be used to just store all the all the bits and pieces from the construction building. I hear people. <laughs> oh, no. Who's this? Hi. Come on out. Oh, there's more of him. Maybe he was here on, on a purpose. Oh, no. What have I done? <laughs> Hello. Oh, I found. Come on out. Come on out. Kiralis with a win. Hello. Out you go. Don't go back in, idiots. Idiots. There we go. Okay, you know what? I saved I saved somebody, I guess. Uh, we should just, just maybe kill them off. No. No can do that.
It is, it is sad. It is sad but true. It was a place we, we never really got to use. However, hello you. However, hopefully the new building we will be using. Unless, look into my eyes, unless Yashwami builds something really, really fast. But the main idea is that we're gonna have a cake. We're gonna have a beautiful cake. Uh, the building will be a cake. It's gonna look something similar to this, uh, I hope at least. And the thing about this is that. I'm sorry. Let me think. Cross questions? <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> Bye. Sorry about that. Talking about the devil. No, the troll. No, just talking about Yashwami. He wants to play his new game. So let's go over there ASAP. But first, let me take a selfie. Kach, kach. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, the main idea is that I will have one building uh, of those of the cake type, which will be going and intersecting with the bookshelf somehow. And as thinking of it, let me just see here. How are we looking? How am I hungry? No, I'm not. Woo! <laughs> I can't eat the cake, right? But uh, how's the cake looking on the inside? Is it like a chocolate cake? It's gotta be a chocolate cake. Yeah, it's gotta be a chocolate cake. So we're gonna have a chocolate cake on the inside. And uh, I think what we'll do is maybe, hmm, maybe have a half cake. Hmm, no, you know what? Maybe have a, a three quarters. Yeah. A three quarters of a cake. And then this part over here will be kind of eaten. And that's gonna be interesting in that building. And then having a half a cake going out. It is hard to describe, ladies and gentlemen. L you know what? Let's, like, well, where was my beautiful eyes? There they are. First, let's play the game with Shashwami. His new, like, game which is called Standoff. Don't know what it is, but it seems pretty intriguing. And then, and then we build cake. Everybody? Cake? Yes. <gasps> ah. Shashwami, Lord. What do we call you? I was about to say, I don't even know what to call you anymore. Sh Stride Rallis? It is, it is beautiful. It is not beautiful anymore because 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 but but Strider's those eyes. Striders are pretty ugly, dude. Like I'm he, a monstrosity, and so are you now. <laughs> is in die of the beholder, man. I love sure. this. Give me a second. Give me a second. I'm shivering. <laughs> that is so <laughs> clever, dude. Oh, uh, now people will be able to tell us apart. <laughs> <sighs> Dang I it. Get confused. I thought I was a clever girl, but no. So this is the entrance to my, my game. It's just like a decorative little area. Over here, instructions on how to play and rules, but I'll just walk you through it. Okay. And then we'll play a game. So to play mm -hmm. a game, you go up round to the side to the arena. On my way. And let's check everything's back. Is this PvP? Yep. No. No, it's turn-based turn strategy. Ah, this is like chess almost. Okay. Yeah. So here's what mm -hmm. here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take it in turns, placing armor stands. Okay. And putting helmets on, and we put them on the red tiles, right? Mm -hmm. So maybe you put your first one down there, and bam. Then I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side, and I'm gonna have a gold helmet, right? Okay. And then once we place down five each, then we're ready to play. So in order to play, you have two swords, a knockback one sword and a knockback two. So okay, okay. have a go at whacking the armor stand just once with that sword. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Now try uh -huh. the other sword. That goes further, right? Yeah. Now you can also sprint with that sword and then it will go really far. So those are the those are the three moves you've got available to you, right? Knockback one, knockback two, and knockback and sprint. Mm. And you can maneuver them around like so. Okay. Let me show you how you knock an opponent out of the game. Okay. Right. Their base plates have to touch. So can you see how the base plates are now touching? Oh, thank you. Yeah. So whoever made that move, let's say it was iron, they, they win that fight. And we... Ooh. Ooh. Interesting. We knock out that one. Now, as well as that, mm -hmm. there is also five special moves. Okay. And... <laughs> You only get to use them once, and okay. you can see 
what moves left your opponent has because they're on display here. So you got take their turn, precision shot, retreat, switch spots, and a double move. And these are explained in detail in this book here. I am going to move you into the middle. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Yeah, how about... Oh. oh. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <gasps> they touch. They touch. They kissed. Oh, look at how close that was. That was very nearly a fail. Mm. Okay. Oh, but now you got that one. Yeah, but do I sprint? You think? Uh, I'm not going to say. I'm not going to say. <laughs> Help a man out. Uh, <gasps> oh. No. Oh. How okay. unfortunate. How okay. unfortunate. I am, using, I am using precision shot. You gotta be kidding me, Shashwam. Well, what I will say <laughs> is... It's, it's not back. as close as I'd like. Ooh, no Ooh. touchy. No, no, touch no, no, no. Latent. Latent Go, touch in. No, depends on the angle, dude. Let's call the, the, the VAR. It's a VAR decision, man. <laughs> VAR video replay. <laughs> oh, I lost two already. Aqual Foley, I don't believe. All right, into the middle, into the middle. Mm -hmm. I am going to use... I always forget about that. Don't. <laughs> I'm going to use don't. double move. Okay, so this um, may um, not go to plan. I'm in disbelief. I'm in disbelief. I think I might have screwed this up, but I'm going to shoot past. Ooh, oh, no, it didn't touch. No touchy touchy. Uh-oh. Sacrificed so, one. So I guess I guess precision move would be my choice over here. Okay, so I just... And you touchy me. touchy. Perfect, perfect. You're not going okay. for VAR now, are you? Let's go from here with sprint. You're trying to stand in the way and put me off. You gotta be kidding me. Cheeky fella. I got a funny feeling. You don't love me anymore. No, but honestly, I got a funny feeling that you've been practicing so much on this. Of course I have. I made the game. I had to yeah. like, figure out if it were playable. Oh, touchy, oh, touchy, me. touchy, you touchy. Me. Perfect. Okay. Now, what can I use here? We've got retreat. <laughs> take their turn. Switch oh, spots. dang it. I had a double move. I think. No. You know I what? I think I'm going to use take their turn here. Check this thinking, out. Thinking makes your brain hurt. Don't think. Here's what I'm going to do, Kralis. I'm going to move yours away from mine. But also. Oh, actually, that, oh, that was kind of smelly. <laughs> oh, that kind of wasn't what I wanted. <laughs> that was kind of smelly. You're still gonna uh, get I'm gonna me. Have to use this one. Oh, I might have wasted another power move again. You okay, here we go. You're still gonna get me. Oh, just Ooh, about. Up, 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 up. No VAR. <sighs> no VAR. Hmm. I think uh, I think I'm just gonna play a bit of a broad move and bring this one out onto the plane. Uh, uh, there we go. That's my turn. Oh. Okay, here we go. Hmm. Right, that's my turn. Yeah, the thing about this is like using knockback, I think is gonna go past that guy. Yeah, that's what um, I'm So I'm gonna go like that. Oh no. Oh no, this is bad. Oh no! Oh you sprint! Mm. Uh, what? Uh, uh, oh. Oh, they're touching. Alright. I now couldn't 3v1. tell. I, I, I couldn't tell from this angle. Just, just saying. Okay. Uh, well, I got video evidence. Don't worry. <gasps> you can. All you gotta do is actually. Oh, he makes a move. He shoots. He scores. Two oh, versus well, one. I'm seeing. One I'm seeing a shot. I have to take. What shot? Ah, oh, man, it didn't make it. Okay, I'm gonna try this anyhow. Boom! Out. And you will. You will get me. I know it. I will. I think there was a move there you could have made, right? Let me check. This is knockback one. Gotcha. I don't think it's touching. Down to the last armor stand. 
Dude, I think what you could have done is use retreat, pulled it back to here, and then shot and taken one of mine out. That would be the same. Yeah, same, it might same have been. outcome. They were close together, yeah. weren't they? Yeah. Should we do? Should we do a three v three then? And you All go first, or I go first? Well, I, I I do start right. I do I do okay. start this this battle. So I'm gonna use my double move. Boom, boom. Oops, the book. Going aggressive from the get go. I see. Mm hmm. Ooh. Like so. Ooh, this might be a little bit tricky though. This might be a little bit tricky. I didn't think or anticipated that at all. Oh, he makes a mistake. Precision shot. Ah. I, I don't think they're touching. <laughs> they couldn't be more touching if they tried. I am um. going to switch spots. Okay, th this Un one. Believable. It's the way you play the game. Now I get to take my turn. Question is. Unbelievable. Knock In this belief. Knockback two, Corrales. I would go for knockback two. Sprint. I, think I would as well. Yeah, with, with some added sprint. Okay, here we go. Oh, I forgot to sprint. Oh well. I, I think you can make a good move here if you think Take about it. Take their turn. Oh, okay. Mm. What you gonna do? Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Interesting, interesting. Ooh. Now it's your turn. I'm. I was thinking that I would maybe land here in the middle, take out both at the same time. Uh, boop. Oh, you got this one. Dang it. Dang it. Too much. Too much. Too much. Well, you know, what moves have I got? Uh, actually, I know what I'm going to do. Don't do it. Shush right me. I'm going to use retreat. I think this one, I I would have used this one last round if I were you. This This is a powerful, powerful move, especially in a situation like this. Because now I can pick what I think the most likely shot is, and I think I think it's probably here, knockback one. All right, is that knockback one? Ah, oh, it's Ooh, not good enough. No it's touchy, enough. touchy. Uh -oh. Which means, which means, if I would go, uh, let me see, what do I have? I do have precision shot. Maybe I could drag and take those two out at the same time. That is just a possibility. It's that is just not a possible. It's pretty nah, it's, you know, the fishing rod isn't that good, is it? <laughs> <sighs> That's not, not a really this good is, move. Is... I think maybe you should uh, you know, just uh, admit defeat. You know? He done it! No! No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, and I drag. Yes, oh, he's done it! Against the odds. The man with the big eyes wins. Hands down. I love that game. And I really hope you guys enjoy because we will be playing that game with more Hermes in the near future. But now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's get ready to rub. No, you know what? First and foremost, I am truly sorry to all the cakes in the world because this will most likely turn out terrible.
not done, but it's a thing. Welcome back, everybody. So, yeah, it is... It... Ah, I... Mm, it is supposed to be a cake, for those who didn't notice. And, uh, and you know, let me just do one more thing. First of all, eat it. Does it resemble? Well, a little bit. And let's get a little redstone block. And let's pretend this is a cherry. Boom. Fixed it. Everything is solved. The thing about doing, like those minecraft blocks bigger is it is it's super tricky because because you can only need to get some depth into it and uh, it, it ain't easy so this is what this is supposed to be this is like a three quarters of of a of a cake this is a half a cake and a little bit of a slice which just been sliced and it's just laying down and that that honey thingy over here that is supposed to be like uh caramel i don't know Caramel sauce thingy uh, filling. I don't know. Don't ask me. But I think I f this is just a Windows brown stained clay. Yeah, like it's not done. Okay, it is not done. Uh, it's not gonna be done today because uh, yeah, I need some feedback. So if you guys get any suggestions, please let me know. We will have two entrances to the shoppy. We will have one here on the side and one through Looky Looky at my bookie, and you go straight into Looky Looky at my cookie. <laughs> Yes, yeah, it's not a problem on the inside. It's a little bit like being inside of a butthole, I guess. But, but, uh, I won't say it's my butthole. <laughs> but it is a chocolate cake, ladies and gentlemen, right? And uh, we're gonna, we're gonna make this pretty on the inside. We'll be selling cakes, cookies, and all types of food on, uh, on the inside over here. So, please, please leave some feedback. You know what I did? This... Clever girl. You can use them as a little like slabs, a stairs. And I guess it kind of works nicely in a cake shop, right? I'm also thinking, uh, I'm thinking, okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe what we could do is get some, uh, some, some fantasy trees. Maybe made out of cake built up around in this place as well. But this is a work in progress. I'm going to shut the doors so nobody nobody goes in. And we're going to continue this, I guess, later on. But uh, but yeah, you know what we need to do? Let's head back home. And and by the way, let, let me know what you think about the, the cake. And back at base, I have done something, which is actually based on requests from you guys. It is an aerial view over the city, which I have to say... It does not look as impressive. Yeah, much more impressive. But uh, I'm thinking, for the future, we will get this bigger. Up here we're gonna have suburbs, more skyscrapers. A uh, landing strip, airports, somewhere over here, just in between. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's gonna be perfect. And also, Sheshwemi came by and set up this over here. A portal. A portal to the nether. Uh, I love it. This is a perfect location for it. And also we did a, uh, go to Beef's place and bought some wallpaper and dressed it for success. You know what that looks? It looks like an elevator shaft. <laughs> I adore it. But uh, what am I doing here? Well, as you may know, previous episode, we showcased this over here, which is a thing made by Evo. And it is incredible. It is so well made. I love it. I could just be dancing to this all day long. <sighs> it's... It should be classified as one of the wonders of the world, okay? Because this is so good. But uh, payment. Ladies and gentlemen, we need to pay. Pay up for that. And... When I talked to Ifo last, he said like, Kiralis, I need, I need, I need gunpowder badly. And one thing which I've got enough of is, <sighs> just listen to this. One thing which I've got uh, quite a bit of is gunpowder. Maybe not over here, but uh, over here, 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 uh, over here, yes. Over there? Yeah, pretty much so. Over here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here? Yes. We've got gunpowder for days. So let's let's get some sugar boxes set up. And uh, this is just going to be a down payment because this up here is worth so much more. Can you just imagine how much time that took for, for, 
for Aoife to make. I don't, I don't want to know. Because I'm going to feel so bad. <laughs> Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. So we have 10 sugar boxes filled with gum powder. As a part of the down payment, now we would need some mending books. And that we do have in the bank. So let's go over here and let's be happy. I'm so happy about the bank, by the way. Hello. Who this? Uh, sir? What is this book? Can I undress you? I don't want to undress you, but... but, but. Hello? <laughs> Hi? <laughs> Look at them just chilling about. Can I grab those books somehow? I don't, I don't know. I'm not really sure what they're, those guys are doing here. Do you know? You're supposed to be guarding this place and you let those guys in? Ay, 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 ay. I'm so happy about this. It is so much convenient than going down into the, to the basement sweatshop and doing this. So let's get some books, let's get some emeralds, and let's get maybe two sugar boxes filled with mending books. Like a so, and like a so. So now, ladies and gentlemen, we have two sugar boxes filled with mending books and ten filled with gum powder. Who made you guys? This is just a down payment, because he created a marvel, all right? Uh, okay, Shashram is building something over here, so let's not show it, but it is going to be humongous. Eva has got this amazing way of building stuff, like... Hello, creepy. Like, he starts from the inside and, and goes out. Where, where I myself, like, I start from the outside and go in. Let's just check this out. It is... <laughs> just so beautiful, man. It's just, just a, such a different way of building. Oh, wow. I mean, just look at this. It is just so peaceful over here. I I love it. What can I say? This is this is this is just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Down payment for what is love? I love it. Slash K. This is just this is just a part of it. Cause 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 what he created is is priceless. I don't even know. But I once again I have to say this this is such a cool base. Uh, but the main idea of the of the new Shopee will be that this area which we are creating over here will pretty much cater to to the Shopee. We're gonna have like the veggies downstairs, we're gonna have me pigs, we need to have eggs and chicchiones. We will have uh, cows for milk needs. So yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be we're gonna be selling everything at the shop, right? You guys happy down here? Yes, you are. We're filling up? Yes. Oh my, oh my. We have two new reviews in the Looky Looky As My Bookie review book. The first one says, This shop is like an old friend. Reliable, trustworthy, valuable. Cub. Second one. Kural is a treasure to the community. And his shop is a diadem splaying rays of light reflected from his smiling eyes into the hearts of all who know him. <laughs> Joe Hills. So I actually gave Joe some, some free books because he doesn't use diamonds. So, uh, Joe and Cobb, spank you. And on that bombshell, I think we're going to end today's episode. It's been long and I don't want to bore you guys to death. So thank you so much for watching. And, and please, pretty please. Let me know what you guys think about the cake shop. Like, it is tricky, as I said, like making like those Minecraft blocks big and making it look like representable. But I, I think I like it. Don't don't want to be the guy, but it does kind of look delicious. Looky, looky at my cookie is coming to life, I guess. But uh, yeah, like let me know some feedback, and we will improve upon that. Do we like it? Yeah, it's it's all right, I guess. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me just land. Let's not crash. There we go. I'm alive. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to see you guys in the next episode of Hermitcraft. And have a fantastic day. Do hit the like button. Bye, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, Beef just messaged. And he has found Matilda. Matilda is coming home. Yes, she's part of the deal. The Peacekeeper has been moved back. And I'm getting Matilda free posters and free instruments for life.
<laughs> no, 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 back, 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 back. So happy that I run out of rockets. Hello, Mr. Vintage Kebab. Follow me. But, but why are you, why, why are you lame, Dad? <laughs> lame, Dad. Who? <gasps> <laughs> Sad face even. Oh, I love his face. No, I can't. Let's just go. Llama. It's a celebration. Oh, Matilda, baby girl. Look, I know. Mati, what? That is not even Matilda. Oh, wow. Lame dad. Slain by vengeance. I didn't even have the time to react. Oh, wow. Dude, I thought, I thought all Canadians were good people. That's it, from today, Ifo is my favorite Canadian. Eh? You proved me wrong. And he's just laughing. And I'm sorry, in his like funny Canadian accent, no, no. Don't be sorry, don't be.